Why? You've allowed his voice to go where? Way down. And too many people are allowing themselves to live by the what? Out of man. And God wants us to live from the where? Inside out. And it takes time to develop your spirit man. Just don't happen overnight. Shout hallelujah. But your outer man is craving to do that which is intimate against who? God. Your flesh, Romans 7. Go there, please. Hallelujah. But the inner man delights in the law of God. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. Go to, uh, I said Romans 7. Excuse me. Take me to the next verse that I gave you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Paul says, for if ye live after the flesh, after the outer man, ye shall die. Romans 3 and 23 says, but the wages of sin is what? Death. Now that's talking about, hallelujah, it's, it's natural death, but it's also spiritual death. And the worst death at all together is spiritual death. To die in your spirit and not alive to God is eternal death. Yeah, your, your natural body going to pass away. The outer man is perishing, but that's not the most important one. Getting that inner man what? Right with God. And the inner man will begin to speak up. And if we judge and live your life based on outer man, you'll be making all your decisions based on these eyes. And these eyes have limitation. But the inner man can see far greater than the outer man. So you, when you look at situation as a believer, you have to be careful because things can look really bad. But then you have to listen to the spirit man, that born again spirit, and you say, but God is going to work that out. But God. You know, you see your child, he's crazy, going wild, doing all these things. Your outer man will, will say, he ain't no good, ain't going to never change. But the inner man will say what the word says. The inner man will say, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted above the heathen. The inner man say, yeah, he's a prodigal, but he's coming home. But the outer man will what? Amen, will condemn. And as a believer, we have to start, uh, change our mindset. We've been judging and walking too much from the outer man. The sinner man, you know, the Lord blew this up to me the other night. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And oftentimes the body of Christ judges from the what? The outside. What, what do you think sinners going to do? Sin. How do you think they're going to act? Ungodly. Why are we so surprised? And why do we lambash them when God say he, he so loved the who? The world. So the inner man recognized, yeah, their plight is bad. Their situation is bad. Their lifestyle is bad. But God loves them. And God want to what? Save them. If you operate from that inner man, your compassion will come up out of your spirit and reach out to somebody. But if you judge from that outer man, you'll just be condemning folks. They ain't no good. They ain't da-da-da-da-da-da. No, 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 no. Listen, we too used to be lost. And somebody had enough spirit to be governed by their what? In a man. And they looked past your faults and saw your needs. And they got in prayer. They interceded for you. They fasted for you. They prayed for you. And now you're saved. Why? Because somebody judged you from the what? In a man and not the outer man. So we got to begin to see each other from the what? In, in an inward man, not the outward man. Churches divide and have splits and breakups. And people leave church because somebody offended them. Brother, when that happens, you moved out of the outward man. The inner man always want to what? Reconcile. Restore. Rebuild. Can you say amen to that? But Paul said, but if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if ye through the spirit do what? Mortify. The deed. What do you do with a bad dog? Tie him up. No, don't kill him. If you got a bad dog, the dog may be Maybe may uh, 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 can be a blessing. But right now, you need to be tied up. Your body is like, that body, that outward man is like a bad dog. It just needs to be what brought into what? Subjection. And the Holy Ghost, if you allow him, a man can speak to you, whereas your body, you can bring your body into what? Subjection. You don't have to allow your body to go what? Wild and give it to everybody. Hold the Holy Spirit will help you to say, body, you belong to God. And I'm not going to lend my body out to any and everybody. Say, so learn to live from the inside out. And see, we should have already learned this because we've been in God for a while. And that inner man is that, that, that inside man is the hidden man of the heart. And he wants to do and he wants us to carry out the will of who? God. 
But if we're not careful and prayerful, and if we don't spend time training our spirit and feeding our inner man, the outward man will get what? Stronger. If you don't believe that, look at our culture today. Hallelujah. The outward man is talking loud. All kind of perversion in the nation. And they demand that we honor it. Why is that? The outward man is what? Talking what? Loud. But the church, the body of Christ, that possesses the born-again spirit, ought to say, but God save those people. Not beat them up. Don't lambash them. Amen. Save them, God. Learn how to love them from the what? Inside out. Shout hallelujah. Marriages could be restored if you just live from the inside out. Y'all stop looking at each other and hitting each other and saying ugly stuff and slamming the door in your face. It's not like that. That's the outward man. And you, we grieve the Holy Ghost when we don't take the time to allow him to lead us and guide us into what? All truths. The inward man want to lead you into what? Success. It shouldn't be a person here of living failure when the inner man that's been born again has been given to you to give you success when? All the time. You ought to have a successful marriage. Successful relationship. The Spirit of God will lead you into what? Truth. It'll lead you, Paul said, from where? Faith to faith. And from where? Glory to glory. But the outward man, that old terrible guy, how if you don't bring him subjection, if you don't tie up a bad dog, he'll bite everybody in the community. Amen. When I was a kid, everybody had dogs. I mean, some family had five or six dogs. They breeded almost like rabbits. And some of the rats were bad. You go down the street to the store and they come out of the yard want to eat you up. Hallelujah. The only reason they would like that is because nobody took the time to what? Tie them up. Not kill them. There are some things that's bothering you now. You don't want to destroy it. Let the inner man show you how to what? Bring it into what? Subjection. Well, I just hate the way my husband do it. I just hate what he said. I just hate what she says. Whatever. Well, why don't you listen to the Holy Spirit? He is your teacher. And if you learn to live from the inside, you'll change from the outside. And he'll see you in a different what? Light. Worst thing in the world. See, two born again, Holy Ghost filled people fighting one another like cats. That's not God. Okay, what do we do? Start all over. I don't want to start all, all over. Sometimes you have to start all over. You have to tear a house down and build it back up. Because you erected it on the wrong faulty, faulty foundation. You don't just marry a woman because she's fine. Or look good. Amen. You're going to find out later she may not cook good. She may not clean good. So you have to marry her for the what? Entire woman. And if she don't clean good, sure how? You're a good cleaner. Your mama talk. Some men can clean way better than a woman. But that's because they had a mama that taught that boy. Some men know how to what? Cook. Because mama said you may not get a wife. And boy, you're going to need to learn how to cook. So if that wife can't cook real good, don't go in there lamb bashing her. Listen to the inner man. Go in there and start fixing some food, and, and she tastes it. Say, it's good. And then she says, show me how to do that. Get in there and show her. I didn't say stay all your life. Amen. Things could be solved so much quickly if we live from the inside out. Shout hallelujah. Paul said, amen, if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, because, see, the deeds of the body, that, that man that has not been and your body has not been saved. You hear me? Your spirit got saved. You got same, Adam had the same old body. Amen. David said we were shaped in iniquity and born in sin. We got the same old bodies. But we have received a new spirit. Amen. And that body should not be the what? Lead person in your life. Spirit should always be the lead person. Amen. Here, stand up. Hope y'all stand up real quick. Right beside each other. Yeah, right beside each other. All right, so you got the body soul and I'm the spirit now if I'm going to live from the inside I'm in charge now if I let the body have its way it's in charge so I say well it's, it's prayer night we're going to come pray and the body said I ain't going I ain't got time for that mess but the spirit man said yeah but we need to pray guess what the soul going to do body ain't got no choice has to go so the body don't have as much power as it presents itself. And so what we got to learn how to do is live from the what? Inside. Not from the what? Outside. Married people are fussing, fighting over what? Nothing. 
when you can just listen to that spirit man. And he, he, he's so, you can thank you. He's so gentle. He's so kind. Now he can be bold. Hallelujah. I say he can be bold. And too many people are failing today because they're living their lives from the outward man rather than inward man. And it's even got to where now born again people are, are, are neglecting that inner man and f flowing with the what? The outer man. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not going to pray for my marriage. Now, the, the, the counselor said, pray for your marriage. Why don't y'all be reconciled? I ain't doing none of that. Well, that's not the, that's not the inner man. That's the outward man. The inner man will give you a chance to be what? Restored. People leave churches because somebody offended them. That wasn't, a, that wasn't the inner man. Hallelujah. The inner man said, no, no, let's be reconciled. We receive the ministry of what? Reconciliation. And the body has become weak because many people are making decisions from the what? The outward man. The body of Christ ought to be what? Strong. But we're becoming weak and feeble because we let in the flesh, we feed in the flesh everything it wants. Bitterness, hatred, malice, strife. He gets stronger with that stuff. And the inner man is sitting there, no, 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 don't do that. And I, I admit, listen, hear me well. You do, need, you do need to have a strong prayer life. But hear me well. You shown them need to feed your spirit. Because the word of God is the food that strengthens him. You hear me? You can pray all day long, but if you don't have no understanding of where you're supposed to go, how can the spirit of God tell you what to do? So you need both the, the prayer and the what? Word. Hallelujah. And now some of us know even in our natural lives right now, I'm talking about believers right now, even we're feeding our natural bodies food that's not what? Good for it. We know it and the Spirit of God tells us, leave it alone. We go ahead and eat it and then all of a sudden we get what? Sick. Weakly. And then we go to the Spirit, go, oh God, in the name, now we want to transfer over to the Spirit. I need you to help me. And God is so good, he will. But he's saying, once you learn, when you see that light, First John said, what? Walk therein. Don't go back to the beggarly elements of the world. Don't go back to that stuff. Are you listening to me? There are people living from the outside instead of the inside, and they're making decisions that's causing detrimental things to happen to their lives. Amen. And then, then they live a life and let time get by and have a strong spirit of regret. You ever met a person with a strong regret? Man, it's, it's the saddest thing in the world. You can see the, the regret will manifest even on the continents. You can see it on a person's face. Oh, I wish I'd have never wasted all my time following the mind of the flesh. I wish I'd have listened to God when? All the time. Now, here's the parable in Luke 15 about the prodigal uh, father going, hallelujah. The father is a son, right? That's a type of God and his children. The son, though, decides that he doesn't, he doesn't want to respect and honor all of the caretaking of his father. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm going to quit. He, he doesn't honor it. And so he said, yeah, I'm going to leave my daddy. Give him my stuff. See, that's the mind of the flesh. Even though he was right there with the father, the spirit of God can be in you, but he doesn't make you obey him. He will, he will, he will chide with you. He even brood. He'll cry. He'll weep. Try his best to say, hey, don't follow the mind of the body. Don't follow the flesh. Don't follow the outward man. But that prodigal son said, no, give me my stuff. And the father was so kind, he gave it to him. And the Bible said he went into a what? Far country. Your flesh will always lead you away from God. Never to God. Hallelujah. But when he got out there, one day he came what? To himself. Because his father, hallelujah, amen, loved him. And didn't give up on him. See, if you follow the spirit of God inside of you, it won't let you give up on people. You hear me? You say, well, Pastor, I'm just so tired. But it won't let you give up on them. Because you'll recognize God never gave up on you. Hallelujah. Now, I know this ain't no shouting message, but I, this is some practical understanding that we need so we can do better in the kingdom of who? God. There's some folk messed up in their mind, messed up in their life. Don't give up on them. The Spirit of God is saying, no, live out of the Spirit, not out of your body, not out of your flesh. Quit making all them bad decisions. Do I have another scripture, Caleb? Paul said, I am crucified with who? Christ. Nevertheless, I what? Live. Yet not I, but who? The Christ lives where? In me. 
And the life which I now live where? In the flesh. See, you still live in this body? God, you can speak in tongues, but God needs me to have a tongue and lips and a voice. So the body is necessary. It's not totally bad. But the mind of the flesh is what's your enemy. Shout hallelujah. He said, the life which I now live, I live where? In the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God. I live by the Spirit of God creates what? A faith in me. Teaches me the word of God. I live by my faith. Of the Son of God who what? Loved me and what? Gave himself for me. So if you live from the inside out, you'll be a more profitable servant to the kingdom of God. And if you follow that inner man, he will take you from faith to faith and from glory to glory. And he'll begin to reveal things to you you've never known in your life. But you'll never get it from the outward man. The outward man is what? Perishing. So I am what? Crucified. See, I'm supposed to be dead. What do you mean? I, I mean, amen. Everything that's against God is supposed to what? Be dead. We reckon ourselves to be dead unto sin, but alive unto who? God. So the person that's alive is the spirit of God where? In us. The flesh ought to be huh, modified, put up under subjection. Put a bad, put a chain on it. Don't allow your mind to go where it shouldn't go. Don't allow your heart to go where it where, 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 shouldn't go. Finally, my brother, whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are what? Good report. Think on what? These things. The Bible said to the pure, all things are what? Pure. You got to let the Spirit of God what? Purify your mind. So that the mind of the flesh will never have his way. Shout hallelujah. Well, I had a good marriage at first, but now the romance is gone. Who, who let it go? Where did it leave? Somebody came in and took it out? My husband used to be so sweet. I used to think he was so sweet. I found out he was a little bit bitter. And, and the wife said, I thought my husband was so kind. That rascal can be mean. Well, you just, all you did was you learned about each other's what? Flesh. But you don't allow your flesh to what? Run your marriage. What you both should do is put your flesh up under what? Subjection. And say, no, in this house, we're going to live out of our what? Spirit man. Out of the inward man. Hallelujah. 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 Two minutes. Wow. I'll go to the last note. Skip all that. We, make, we must make a decision to allow the inner man to rule our lives so that we may please him who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Make up your mind that great is he that's in you. And he this in the world. The, the, the recreated spirit man that lives in you is great. Greater than the world. Greater than your flesh. Greater than the mind of the flesh. Allow him to rule and reign in your life. Hallelujah. Paul talks about, when he, talks, he discovers about this situation going on in your life, who, he said, who shall deliver me from this body of death? Who going to get me out of this? Jesus did. You don't have to walk around, Amen. Praise God, acting like you don't have victory. The Christ in you is victorious. And all you got to do is allow, allow him to be what? Victorious in your life. Shout hallelujah. You mad with somebody? Amen. And y'all can't reconcile? It's your flesh. The Spirit of God always want to what? Be restored. Be reconciled. Always. Not sometimes. Always. Well, Pastor, I mean, they won't let me reconcile with them. But you'll always maintain a spirit where you want to be. The Spirit of God always have you what? Praying for that person. Not, amen, lambashing them. Not downing them. Praying for them. Are you listening to me? Say, Lord, teach me how to live from the inside outward. And you might have to get in some prayer and say, Lord, I renounce my outward living. Allowing the outward man to rule my life. Shout hallelujah. And you will be tested Amen, based on uh, life. Whether you're going to yield to your inner man or yield to your flesh. You go somewhere, you get in the grocery line, somebody hits you with a bug and hits you on your chin down there. My God! And they don't say they sorry. And then your eyes, you know, the outer man, your eyes. That's your outer man. 
and then, and, and then you're fuming inside. You got all these ungodly thoughts. You haven't said them, but you're musing upon them. And the Spirit of God is saying all the time, let it go. Let it go. It'll spoil your life. Don't allow it to have free course in your what? Your life. Hallelujah. Yeah, just say, and, and, and somebody don't speak to you. I know they saw me. They looked right in my face. And, and then that, that our man said, I'm going to go there and tell him, didn't you see me? He said, that important. You did what you were supposed to do. You know, this is the truth. People can say that about me. My wife hit me all the time. Speak. That's, that's one of the things that we have really had a challenge in our marriage. She do me like my mama. Speak. You know, because I was a kid, I would come in the house and there would be grown people in And I just walked through the hallway and my mama said, boy, don't you see all these people? And I said, oh, excuse me. You better speak to these people. Boy, I'll slap your mouth off your face. Or something like that. But see, the truth was, I was a kind of child when I got something on my mind. It was on my mind. Now, she didn't get that until I was 17, you understand? She didn't figure it out until I was 17. She finally, she told some people, that boy just like that. I didn't mean any harm. And see, the spirit man in you will not judge people so quickly. It'll always give what? Grace. Oh, by Shataya. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, help me to give what? Grace. They don't deserve no grace. Well, you didn't deserve no grace. None of us deserve the grace of God. While we were yet sinners, Christ what? Died for us. He who knew no sin became sin for us. One minute. Hallelujah. I'm over. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not through, but I'm quitting. Hallelujah. Listen, I want you to know something. The hour is upon us where you as a believer, if you have not learned it, if you have not been practicing and asking God to help you, show you, that train your spirit in a man so you can operate in the earth. It's needed right now really bad. There's a harvest coming in. And you're going to have to know how to operate from the inner man. Because they're not going to look like you, not going to act like you, and you're going to have, well, Pastor, they all know how to act. Well, you, it took you 20 years, I mean, some, some time, to learn. Hey, Amen. how many of the saved now knew what you knew when you first got saved? None of us. But God has what? Trained you. And you have learned to surrender to the who? Holy Ghost. I remember, I'll say this openly. I remember when my wife and I first started getting to go somewhere. But our mom and we went to meetings and stuff and whatever. And I'd be in the back seat. She was always so nice. Drove us everywhere. I never told you how much I appreciate that. But now that I don't like to drive, I want you to know I really appreciate it. But anyway, we'd be tri driving and we'd get in the parking lot. And, and my wife and mama, they, they was on one accord, you know. And mama would start speaking in tongues. Now, Lord Jesus, show us, give us the easy parking spot right up close. And I'm in the back seat like, really? <laughs> and, and in my mind, I said, don't make a bit of sense. <laughs> now, just park. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I said, this is a day being transparent. And lo and behold, we drive right up and had a good spot. And so the first time I said, that ain't number luck. That's just luck. <laughs> Now, here's a spiritual man saying, luck. But see, that's the mind of the who? Flesh. Because love thinking what? No evil. Oh, man, this is the word, whether you're getting it or not. This is the word. Hallelujah. But now, listen, in, 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 in their all transparency, she did it enough to while I finally I said, Lord Jesus, I did. So, I said, Lord Jesus, give us an easy point. <laughs> and you can ask my wife. We do that now when we together. See, you can learn some, fr something from somebody else's spirit that's been trained in the Holy Ghost. But you can also learn some from somebody's spirit that's out of the flesh. That's not good. Stand to your feet. I did it, Sister Jen. Y'all forgive me for being two minutes past my time. Now, I done next week, I ain't promising nothing. I want you to go and enjoy your holidays, but I really do want you to think about, meditate on, go find the scriptures about the hidden man of the heart. E.W. Kenyon wrote a book about the hidden man of the heart. If you're not mature, you shouldn't read it. But anyway, you ought to find something and discover about the hidden man of the heart because 
that's the real you. That's the one that God will use. And see, a lot of us want to be used by God, but part of it is the outer man. Because the outer man wants glory. He wants praise. The inner man just wants to give glory to who? God! Paul said, when he makes this statement, I, John said this, I must decrease. He must increase. John knew from the beginning that his lifespan was going to be short. And so when he was decreasing and people was upset about it, he got it. No, 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 no. I, 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 me, John, got to die. But the Christ has to increase. And I'm saying this to you today. You and I need to let the Christ in us increase. And let the flesh man die. Or put uh, come up under subjection because if he's so bad that he's about to destroy you you better kill it out the word modify means to kill it out father we thank you for every person standing here now we bless you for this day that you brought us to we thank you for giving us the eyes of our understanding being enlightened you granted unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge yes we're upon a day now we've come to a place in the kingdom that you're going to begin to reveal to your people greater insights greater knowledge greater revelation you're going to give us a heart to perceive the mind of the holy ghost you're going to teach us how to operate in it far more perfectly in the name of jesus and today we say the outer man that man of the flesh no more rain in our more in our lives no devil no more we are people of the spirit we're children of the Most High God. As of this day, our hearts are attuned to the mind of the Spirit. Whatever you want from us, we'll seek to yield and give it to you. We ask you now, God, help us. We acknowledge we need help in learning how to live from the inside out. God, things that have happened to us in the past that were bad and detrimental, a lot of them happened because we didn't know how to follow the Holy Ghost. The hidden man of this body. We ask you now, God, in Jesus' name, let that hidden man of the spirit come forth. Let him rule and reign. Let him show us how to bring glory to God, even in our bodies. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for every home, every marriage. No more demo. You're not going to destroy my home by me stepping in the outward man, ruling and insisting. The outward man will always insist in having his way. The inner man will condescend. It'll come to a place of humility. Low is the way, said the Lord. When you see the way, walk therein. This is no time to walk after the mind of the flesh. For death abides there. Live in the spirit. Walk after the Spirit. Therefore, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You will bring great glory unto my name if you live after the Spirit. And I will show you things to come. And you'll rejoice and you'll be glad in the name of Jesus. Now, while we're standing, there's anybody here that's not saved. You're not born again. You don't have it. No